Hello, I'm, I'm Gak27, and I'm back with more Satisfactory. Now, last time we finished getting the modular frames done, and the, I, the storage out here says there's only gonna be 50. Oh well. That sucks, but that's fine. I need steel. Actually, screw it. Let's get one of these. That's not right. What? I, am I, did I crash? No. Well, that's weird. I don't know why I got a connection error. Yes, we only got 50 of those. Even though it was running the whole night because I put a storage out. Well, that is unfortunate. So I guess I had planned to start trains today. Let's see how many we got. Forty. We should have forty. Uh, should we have like forty? Or shoot, we should have fifty, shouldn't we? Oh well. So rather than do trains, I guess we can do some of the other stuff I wanted to work on, which is getting noblesks and get any kind of stuff done. So if we grab the man really quick. I'll actually have to go back and get some resources too. Because if I get the man out, we are very far. And apparently I can climb this ladder. Once. Oh, because it's just over my head. How is the conveyor belt too steep? Hold up, let me just... Let me fix this. Why is the server being so wacky? How? You can't tell me the conveyor belt is too steep, it's not. Game. This game, man. How? Here, let's just get rid of all of these. Oh okay, yeah, there we go. I don't know why that works. I wouldn't have dismantled that if I knew if I had known this would happen. There we go. Jeez. Okay, so like I was saying, if we put the mam down. We are not very far into sulfur. Got most of it though. But we need to get more. And that's what I'm looking to do. Because you can get like the rifle and get a bunch of other stuff, but also there are things to do too. Actually, no, I'm going to automate the uh, the, the AI thing. AI limiter. The copper sheet. So let me just I don't believe we have that copper sheet recipe right now though. 
I have to transfer copper over here too. So maybe I should just wait for trains. Maybe I should. Well, because what I'm thinking of is I don't want to put too many more trucks down, right? Because I'm going to be looking into putting trains down instead. Which will not only save me time, let's get lots of loops done. It'll make my life a lot easier. I suppose I could take the 50 out and literally just make the last 50 by hand. I may want to do that, but I can. This will do. It's going to take a bit. Yeah, as you can see, it's going to take a bit. So, yeah, I'm going to go get a bunch of resources. And then I'll be back. Alright, I'm going to make the craft bench first, and then I'm going to start, you know, make the heaven lodger frame by hand. And I'll get the extra screws later. Let me make space. What can I get rid of? Let's get rid of this. There we go. So, while this is crafting, let me explain to them like I have why I'm so desperate to get to trains. And besides the reason of I want to make transportation of items a lot easier and more consistent. And it's generally because I want to make a single, like, depot. A single place where I can store all of my items that I produce. And this is because, like, as you've seen, I have to go all over the world to just find a couple of items which then like increases how long I or it decreases how long you actually see me actually building stuff and that is no fun for anybody because I'm traveling so much I probably cut up I probably cut out of the video like roughly 30 minutes of content because that content is just me traveling which is exactly why it's exactly the reason that I am so desperate to get trained so that then and I guess I suppose I could have done this with tractors it's just all the clicks like I said using trains means you can't really use tractors on these roads at least how I designed them and they're not only turned faster but they need fuel like I mentioned but for my deep off strategy I really just need to have trains in it and it's just a lot easier, basically. It. Like, it'll make it so, even if I'm far away, I'm just going back to do one thing. And I can also hitch a ride on a train, which is why I usually make the train spots before I do the rest of it. Because I can literally just rearrange a train schedule to come pick me up and then go where it needs to go. But yeah, that's basically my plan. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Let's send it off. Milestone reached. A new set of buildings and vehicles needed for long range transportation has been made available. In yes. addition to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. Okay. So now we're done with that. Let's see, how much... Okay, so we need to get more iron plates. So here comes the fun part. Is now that we've come because now that we completed that, we get to stop. We get to start making a base. Not like what I've been doing so far, which is like foundations everywhere and stuff like that. A real, maybe not like a base, like a storage area. It's probably more accurate. So 
almost any place to store a bunch of materials. As you can see, we have the good stuff now. So you do need... Okay, so you basically need... Uh... Re or not reinforce, heavy industrial frames for everything, pretty much. Yep, these block signals and path signals I'll have to figure out again. That should be fun. First off, let's go ahead and get... I think I'll have enough concrete for now. But I want to start getting ready to transport stuff long range. Not incredibly long range, but from here to my base is basically the idea. Mind you, it's not going to be easy because I'm going to need a lot of room for platforms because this will have to be expanded eventually because of how many train stations I'm eventually going to need. Because I had a lot last time. I had a ton of trains. Expand it like this. Not like that. Here we go. Let me see the loop first, right? Go ahead and go to transport and let's add this new stuff in. No, that's not what I want. Three, four, five, six. I actually use empty platforms a lot. But I might not this time. You never know. We'll just put this in seven anyway, so. No. This goes seven. This goes eight. There we go. First off, I need to figure out how I want to do this. So our input will be like this. Can I not rotate this? Apparently not. Well, we'll start with this. A friend of mine taught me how to do this. So I have to make it so this can be an input thing. So I don't want to do it so close because I have to have space. This is a tough thing. So I want it to be a big enough loop that I can get trains in it. I don't want this. You see what I mean? This I can do. Let me just try something. Let's do like. I'd rather prefer that to be straighter. But if I can go out from here. And just go like. Uh, actually, this will be fine if it's like this. Just do that. That'll work. Yes, we'll do that, I guess. Let's bring this out to, like, here. And 
in. There we go. It's not the prettiest path I could make, but I don't have to do. Let's actually shorten this part if I can. I want it to be probably like here. How I want this to work. Oh, I need circuit boards for that? Oh, dang it. I don't think I've actually made specifically circuit boards. Could be a problem. Let me actually go grab some circuit boards, I guess. Okay, now that I'm back, let me explain what I'm doing here. I just went and stole some circuit boards from computer production. Oh no, 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 oh come on, man. <laughs> I just got back. So what I've, I'll show when I get back up and get back up and then I'll be back again. <laughs> okay, I'm back again. <laughs> So now, if I don't fall off for a 30th time, I can explain what I'm planning. So these two in here, so this over here will be an input. Because it's going to travel like this way on the right side. And they'll go, actually that's not a good idea. Let's see. If they input through here, I'll go through that way, then through that way. Okay, no, that's fine. And this will be the output of the circle. Things will come in through this way, make their way around the circle and go out. But this will specifically be the input to the delivery loop. We should expand this by a lot. It's going to take a ton of concrete. Milestone exchange concluded. Oh. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Yeah, well let me preface this by saying this is gonna be a lot. Like this is gonna take a lot of concrete. And this by no means will be done with this in this episode. Like I said, I'm recording for an hour, and then I have to go to work and stuff like that. I'm not go to work, but we you know make lunch, do laundry edit the video because I don't really want to post it 12 again today <laughs> so this will go like uh, this this and it'll go here inputting into the loop first off I need to get all of my uh, delivery stations down. Or my train stations. Let's see first off how big these are. Train station, I'll need to grab the module frames again. So they're about four wide, it seems like. So I'll definitely see like I said, I'm need a lot of foundation. So let me go grab module frames. Okay, we're back. And also grab some concrete while I was going around. Let me start by putting it like that. Right. Should I make it closer? Probably not. Because I need to have a place to outpad them, so. Let's do it like that. This right here, just take a look at this. 
Let's call this... Uh, we will call it... I'm trying to think of a good name. Let's call it... We'll do iron plates and rods. This is going to be uh, rods and iron plates. Because like I said, these are only going to be... Uh, like... By, they're gonna be two by two trains. We'll be like this. How this will work is as the loop goes on to like probably. Because the main thing is I have to be able to input it. Let's go a bit farther, I think. Needs to be that. It's gonna mean I can input that, but we'll fix that in a second. So let me actually dismantle these. So that's not gonna work, I guess. Then what I have to do is from. Like, let's go to here. Yeah. From here, I then have to make an input go here this tiny bit. So I have to get a thing to go from here. Hopefully not cross into that. This. Whoa. So that's supposed to be able to curve, right? Just like this, maybe. Let's go ahead and move this. So I need to go. Uh, nope. Where was it? There it is. Oh, it's too short, I see. Like I said, this is no easy task. That is our input. I'm going to need to expand this again. Because 
Now what I have to do is I have to take this. Then... I need to go back around. Let's do this. Okay, that is our input and output. And let me actually change these guys' position. Because they're outputting differently than I thought it would be. I should really build this part so it's connected. So that's not what I wanted, dude. <laughs> There we go. Then we'll build the train that's supposed to go in here. Along with two freight cars. Change the swatch. And that is the first train. It's gonna make an input and output too. It's a block signal. And we need to do a path signal. So it's basically just a giant loop of me doing that. I'm going to... I'll, I'll expand this the full way this time. Let's just finish the first part of the loop and then I'll end the video. Let me change these. Go ahead and go here. How to do that? Have the two freight platforms. Let's go ahead and extend the railway a little bit. Go ahead, go here. Our input. There's our output. And let's see our signals.
and the Star Alpha signal. Let's go ahead and get this. Not like that, I guess. that do it. Let's see. I believe that should be all of them. Now we need... So we need a pass signal out. Then... This goes around here. This is up here is the output, isn't it? I guess we're doing this differently. That shouldn't be like that. Go in. This will go out. Then I think I need another pass signal. So the train can go in here if there's no train in there. But the train cannot come out from here. Is it gonna work though? I don't think that'll work. Wait a minute. It comes out from here. Oh, that's not gonna work. So what I'm seeing is that because trains need to come from here. is they need to go out, right? But they don't want to go out the way they came in. There we go. So now they will go out. So now they will come out the way they came in. Because if they go through here, they will just go that way. And that's the one I want. So that would block traffic.
There we go. So let me just go ahead and show you what this does. I'm gonna name this. Uh, let's call this iron plates and rods. It's roads, rods. I'm gonna use a pallet for this. This will be called reinforced plates and screw and reinforced plates. Let's call this reinforced plates and screws. Here we go. Let's go ahead and hook these up to power too. I'm going to show you before I go off quickly what this will look like. And luckily, what's cool about trains is that can, that's going to give the entire track power. So let me just uh, in here. Also, is it what's the what are these set to? Really quick, these should be unload. Both of these will unload items. Table. Let's just send it from here to here. See, it'll start to turn on. Oh, it's docking. I see. You should finish that quickly. Now it's gone. See, it gets going, it goes out, gets the green light to go in, and it stops here. Then it'll do its thing, and I'll wait till it, for it to leave before I do the thing. Actually, let me just show you when it goes around the loop. So yeah, it's stocking. Finish that. Oh, that's weird. Why is that unreachable? Should be able to reach that. Let me just go through the loop and see. Here's here, who's here, this way. Ah, I see. I did this wrong. So this isn't right. This. Also, it does need to finish the loop. Just where did I put that here? The problem is, it needs to go 
We'll do it like this. Because it needs to essentially output like here. Yes, yeah, so and now it can get in there. See, it goes to the loop. That's good. Checks its path ahead of it. It's good. Path reserves. Another train will go through that while it's in there. And then it goes in the park. And for instance, if I have... Oh, I'm missing motors, really? I'm gonna go over here and turn off self-driving. Because I need to get motors, apparently. And see, once this is all fixed, and once this is all, like, this whole loop, and this whole path is a loop, because this whole, like, runway here will all be a loop. And I'm probably going to work on some of this off camera because it's going to be a lot of like dragging and just placing more pipe and stuff like that. But I just want to show you what will happen if there is another train in a station. Just before I have to get off. Because we're already going for an hour and 16 minutes. But like I said, this is exciting. This is probably my favorite part of the game. Believe it or not. Let's go ahead and get us some motors. And let me show you. Also, these trains are way faster than this, which will revel- like, if we have to get somewhere to do something, it'll change how fast we go. It'll be so much faster. That's one of the things I just can't wait for. And so, like, we're at the hard part of those trains, right? Because we need to set up a hold loop for this. That is the hard part. Once we get a loop going down our main path, then it's no longer the hard part. At that point, we'll be good, pretty much. Yeah, so over here. Let me go ahead and place the train for here. So like, here. And I have to get more heavy and larger frames. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll just leave that. We'll put that stuff on later. Train here. Let's just, at the timetable, have it go to here and here. Turn on. It'll go out. It'll be able to go in here, pretty much. That's what I'm saying. Should actually stop it from going in the loop, right? It'll go in there. Although, unlike this train, it doesn't have to dock, so it should just go right out. It's one of the other things I'm thinking of adding, like a transportation train mess around with. Yes, yeah, so it's not going to go for it because this guy has a reserved path. It'll go through, it'll head into this loop. It'll like, really mess with that guy. And back 
through because now that has landed. So let me like go grab the other train. Pressing forward, let's go. Final break first. Means it'll go up to here though, but it shouldn't be able to pass through. Because I'm in the loop. Well, I actually won't try at all. Actually, you know, we'll see this later. <laughs> like, I don't need to show it, I just was curious and stuff. self-driving. Yeah, as you can see, we made a pretty decent amount of progress. Like, just for this first part, I couldn't, I couldn't go on this longer than I really wanted to, but still a decent amount of progress. Actually, let me move this train out of here. Just so it doesn't interrupt the tracks very much. But yeah, we made a good amount of progress. We will definitely make more in the next video. But since this, since we have to end it here, although as much as I'd like to keep driving trains forever, I'll have to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, also, before I go, comment, subscribe, uh, like. The three do's of YouTube. Just remember them. I would like that. And I'll see ya. Bye.